So I got I got some blue crabs, guys. All right. I've never done the fried blue crabs before, guys. I've never had to kill them like this. But you cut them in half, and then you flour it and you fry them. Happy Seafood Sunday, by the way, guys. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys that I got stone crabs. I got two of them. There's one in here. And the other one's in the other bag. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we got two of them. Two stone crabs. Oh, he's cold too. We find all this, guys. I just wanted to let you know that I am struggling. I've never done this before. This is the very first time I ever done it. And um, but I'm getting it through, guys. Don't forget to tap, 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 alright? The like, share, and subscribe button, guys, and that notification bell. Alright. If you can share me out, share me out, guys. Alright, and um, we'll see you back at the table, okay? Alright, guys. So my daughter just called me, right? And she wants to know, oh, how do you fry crabs? This is my very first time, but I did see it on video. Now, let me grab two of them because she's going to go back and reference it. All right? These two halves, let's say, was a hole. Took the top off and cleaned it off. Right? You can use egg if you want. I don't use egg, guys. I'm using sofrito as my binding agent. Okay? I'm using the sofrito as the binding agent. Then, I seasoned my flour with salt, pepper, Put cornstarch in it and flour. You stick it in. All you do is stick the body in. Okay? That's it. That's all you do. Okay? You come to the oil and you throw it in the oil. Alright? And you let it fry. That's it. That's how you do it, buddy. Okay? And then once it gets fried, you take them out, put them in some napkins, and you're good. And then this is what we're having too for Seafood Sunday. Nice. That's rice with um, spicy sausage. All right, we'll see you at the table, guys. Love you. Look how nice this is coming out. This was the last one that I put in. We have blue crab and we have stone crab in there. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Seafood Sunday. Ah yeah, it's Seafood Sunday. Ah yeah, it's Seafood Sunday. Guys, it's Seafood Sunday. All right. You already know by the title and the clips that I had before I sat down to eat, guys, all right? I've never done this before, but I, I've seen it everywhere for, for the past couple of years that I've been on social media, fried crab, and I said, you know what? I'm going to finally do it, and I did. Anyway, we have some rice here. Jasmine rice with some Georgian spicy sausage, okay? This is the bottom of the rice, the burnt part of the... You already know. Stop. Stop judging me. Stop. Stop it. Okay? What's that burnt stuff on top of your rice? It's my business and it's what I like. So, don't come for me in the comments, okay? Period. I got fried shrimps with a head on it. All right, we have here, what is this again? What kind of fish this was? Oh, mangrove. Is it mangrove? Yeah. Mangrove snapper fried. Mm. And the star of the show. The stars of the show. Let's Let's knock out production because production is waiting. All right, he's waiting, and then we're gonna chow down. All right, I'm getting the paper plate, I got the big spoon here. All right, 
and let's serve production okay let's look at the sausage though look at it saw it i put how many sausages in the pack three three large sausages in the pack okay i threw in there okay i made two cups of rice and i added all the sausage in there all right let's get production out the way this rice is so good guys let me know how you like your rice if you like your rice mushy or grainy i like it grainy i like it al dente like the spaghetti al dente but done okay there's a difference when when it comes to rice rice is not pasta okay it's not pasta all right um let's get you some crabs let's get you some crabs i'm gonna get you the dungeness i mean the stone crab i'm gonna have this is the stone crab you see it's different from the from the blue crab okay and a claw all right one claw for you oh that's the five second rule get it get it well one of these must get it oh, okay and the fish you got the fish yep. all right let me show them that's that's production's plate look at that look at that and there's more there's a lot more he's gonna come for more don't worry all right now i have let me show them the hot sauce i have i've been i've been i've been munching on this okay i know give me give me the first bite give me the first bite come on hmm give me the first bite hmm i got pf chang and i have to pop it out Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let, let me not let me not mess with the hot sauce just yet, okay? Did I get my bubbly? Ooh. I ain't get the bubbly. It's over there somewhere. Oh yeah. Guys, we cleaned the room and I rearranged shit. Okay? Because I had a whole bunch of Halloween and fall stuff that I'm going to move. I'm moving my station, guys. I'm moving my station. I'm decorating my whole station. So by Taco Tuesday, it's gonna hold. It's gonna be a whole new setup. I told you I am working on upgrading my channel. Okay, I told you. All right, I'm working on upgrading my channel, guys. All right, Big Bertha's in the house. Everybody say hello, hello. Big Bertha's in the house. Everybody say hello. Come on, let's let's have some fun. I got some tea. I got some good tea today. Mm. I got some real good tea. You hear? You hear production? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yes. I want to know why Sunny and Charlie are over here. Okay, let's start with the main event, guys, because this here, this right here, <sighs> is everything right now, guys. I've never done it. I already said it like a hundred times, but let's get it. Let's get it. Mmm. 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 You know how to eat it? You know how to eat the crap? Mm. Yeah. Okay, just yet. bite into it. You're gonna get shell in your mouth. Okay, but you're gonna move it aside and you're gonna eat the meat. All right, and you're gonna spit out the shells. Remember, this is not boiled, it's not steamed, it's fried. So you're gonna get a lot more little pieces in your mouth. Mm. Mm. But the meat that comes out this. 
It's amazing. Amazing, guys. I still got meat in it. Mm. We eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> huh, Kevin? Mm -hmm. This is awesome. And this meal, guys, today came out to less than $55, okay? Mm -hmm. I had a $55 budget to get what I wanted to get for seafood, right? And I got half a dozen of the blue crab. I got two stone crabs. I only made one. I didn't um, buy rice. I had a 50-pound bag. Mm -hmm. I bought a 50-pound bag of jasmine rice, what, like three months ago? And that's still, still full. The sausage I didn't buy, the sausage... Kenny brought from Georgia for us. The shrimps, I got a pound. Okay. And that was it. Mm. The sofrito. How much was the sofrito? Because I did buy I did I buy the, no idea. Like $4. I went in for that and came out with a lot of things. Yeah. I sent him into Publix to buy one thing. And he came out with a whole bunch of stiff stuff. <laughs> And I was gonna go in, but I read the sign, and the sign said no, no pets, no pets allowed unless they're service dogs. And I go with Kobe everywhere because Kobe is my service dog. Dog, I registered him as a service dog, but Charlie's not a service dog. So I said, "Go ahead, Kevin, go get that. I'll stay in the car." But let's get to some more importancy, okay? Let's talk about family. Okay. I'm the type of person, guys, that I don't talk negative of my family. I don't do it. No matter what I know about my family, my immediate family, like my brother, my mother, my father, my sister, my children, I just don't. I don't do it. Because I don't like when they talk about me. Okay. Not that they do, if they do, they don't, that's on them. I'm talking about me. So baby girl calls me while I was cooking. And she tells me, she asks me, what do you think about your sister? And I said, I love my sister. She's a good woman. She's intelligent. She's beautiful. She's independent. And, and she says, are we talking about the same person? <laughs> and I say, yeah, well, yes, we are. The lesson there is that no matter what I think about my sister or no matter what she's done or no matter what I've done. I even told my daughter, my baby girl, I said, listen, baby girl, if you call her and you ask her about me, she probably got a lot worse to say about me. I don't talk bad about my family, especially to each other. You know what I mean? Like, I won't talk bad about my sister to my brother. I won't talk bad about my brother to my sister and vice versa i just don't do it i think family should stick together no matter what's going on and always uplift that's just me you know what i'm saying to you and that's it yeah chime in chime in if you agree i know you're gonna agree with what i'm saying get kevin your Sonny. dog is gonna get sick seriously Sonny. yeah he's gonna get sick Who's going to get sick? Because he's over here trying to get the crabs. The crab shells. And I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I just don't do that. I don't like doing that. Maybe in the past when I was younger. But when I got mature... And more life experience. Yeah. You know. As a matter of fact. I'm going to be honest with you. All these lessons. Started for me. Five years ago. Four or five years ago. When I said I was getting clean. I said I wasn't going to lie anymore. Okay. For my family or anybody. Okay. And um. I just was going to live life different. You know what I'm saying to you? 
and I'm living up to what I said four years ago when I got clean, when I decided to get clean. All right. Period. Mm -hmm. mm, it's so good. Oh my God. But I fried the shrimp. So the skin is like stuck. I think I over fried it. But they're not supposed to. Yeah, give them a treat. Give them a treat. Okay. Mm. I'm not perfect, guys. I know they're good. They're good as hell. Mm. Mm. Cause I know, I know when my kids were little and I needed my sister's help for anything, she was always there. She was always there. She never said no. I'm busy. I'm this. I'm not never. She never did. And me and my sister really. I'm 12 years older than her. I don't think we've had serious arguments. Maybe one or twice in our life. That I could remember. Okay. And we've hashed it out. I'm sorry sis. I love you. You know what I'm saying to you. Shit happens. I was passionate about what I was arguing with you about. And I apologize. Because the last time me and my sister argued. It was about the, about the COVID vaccine. And my anger and my aggression. Towards her. Was the fact that she did get the vaccine. And I was mad. You know. I was really mad about that. But you know what she did? She bought me a book. She said, I love you. I'm sorry. You know? And I said, I'm sorry, too. I love you, too. And that's it. You know? And that was it. That was the end of that. You know what I mean? Okay, now, years ago, years, years, years ago, when I was in my 20s and 30s, I was an angry individual. I was angry at the world when I should have been angry at myself <laughs> for the choices that I made in my life. Okay? I was very, very disrespectful. My mouth was very disrespectful. Yeah. Believe me. I know you're sitting there saying, nah, that's not the grandma that love we know. That's because Gramita Love is 49 going on 50 years old. All right? And Gramita Love has a lot of experience that has taught her lessons, hard lessons. I don't regret it. I'm grateful. I'm grateful and I'm thankful. Oh, yeah. Because you know what? I'm a better person. What is Big Bertha talking about? I'm choking. Oh, we. Oh, you took fish? Mm hmm. Air room for more. Hey, air room for more. Hey, air room for more. And now don't go starting no gossip shit now. You calling this one and this one calling that one. Don't don't start no gossip. Okay? I didn't come here to tell people my personal business because I want you guys to gossip. No. Uh-uh. I'm talking to my family now. Because they watch my videos. My mom watches my videos. My sisters watch. My sister watches my video. And baby girl watches my video too. And the purpose of me coming here and sharing it on this platform is 
so that someone else that has the same experience knows how to handle that situation. Okay? Nobody's perfect in this world. I'm not perfect. Okay? When people call me a bitch, you know what I say? I'm not a bitch. I'm a motherfucker. Excuse my language. Because I was. I used to be. <laughs> Don't let the pretty face fool you, right, Kevin? Mm -hmm. I tell I tell people that all the time. Now I say it all the time. Don't let the pretty face fool you. Don't let the pretty smile fool you. Okay, they used to call me D Money in the street and Charlie. <laughs> there was a reason. Drug dealers called me D-Money in the street. You know why? Because I fought for my respect out there. And I didn't run. I didn't, I didn't join in in no gang. Being in no, no gang. But I was a neutral. And they respected me. And they saw that I was. I was gangster. Okay. And I'm not saying this to show off. Because I am no show off. At all. Okay, what the street show taught me, the lesson I learned in the street was to be humble. I wasn't humble. I wasn't a humble person. I thought I was the shit. I thought I was smarter than everybody, bigger than everybody, made more money than everybody. <clears throat> and room for more. And room for more. And inside, I was dying, guys. I was suffering from depression. I had anger issues. A lot of issues. Okay. That brought me to self-medicating. Okay. Oh, yeah. And today, I'm a better person. I don't need to self-medicate. Okay. I deal with my issues right there. I deal with the situation right there. I don't bottle nothing up. Okay? I don't do that no more. Mm -mm. Just don't forget not to give you ketchup. <laughs> don't forget to give me ketchup. Oh, because I snapped at the guy. <laughs> I sure did. He paid for everybody's dishes that day. I got out the car. Okay, there was a car in front of the window. I slid right through the car, her, the person's car and the window, and I banged on the thing. And I said, where's my ketchup? Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I said, don't be sorry. If somebody orders an order, and it has french fries, hamburgers, whatever it is, put the ketchup in the bag. I had to get out my car after paying $19. For one order and a chicken sandwich, okay? And there's no ketchup in there? But they got us good. Because they didn't even give us the right food. Yeah, they didn't give us the right sandwiches. I'm supposed to have pickles in there, right? Lettuce, tomato, and they have it. It was just chicken, sauce, cheap and bread. It's cheap one. Yeah. But, but we were far, so we couldn't do nothing. When we got home, we couldn't go back and change, you know, and change it. Couldn't do nothing, so... It was good? Yeah, that was good. It's flavorful. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, it was so good. Guys, you already know I love you. Thank you for listening, listening to me talk shit. But good shit, right? Mmm. I appreciate you. I appreciate my ride or die. Okay, ones that's been here with me for a minute. I'm grateful to the ones that pop in. That know me from the beginning and they just pop in pretty periodically. All right. I'm grateful for those that recently joined the Grand family. And if you're watching right now for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy this ride with me. 
and please, please become a part of my family, my grand family, my recovery family. All right? And you already know, guys. Be kind to yourself first. Be kind to others, okay? I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, look, I know I've been here for a minute talking shit. I've been here for a minute, guys. Okay? Mm, this was good. Mm. This is this rice is good, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. Oh my god! Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Stone crab. I'm gonna eat it later because I made a lot, guys. I made a lot. I made a lot. I got to pack all this, clean all this up. All right? So I'm not even going to eat too much because I don't want to get the itis. I'm going to get all lazy. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. this mess I got going on. Cheers, guys. Happy Sunday. Technically, it's the beginning of the week. All right. We, I needed it. Guys, I'll see you next time. And next time you see me, I'm going to have a different setup. Okay, and I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.